Oh, come on. The name of this episode is Hostage Situation. Hannah takes a trip upstate with Desi and Marnie, and it is a hostage situation. I think it's one of the few times on the show that you really do feel bad for Hannah. It's like Hannah weirdly being selfless. It's like, I guess I'll go and help you cheat on your boyfriend. That's what friends do. I mean, do. she complains about it a lot. And tells everyone about it when Marnie asked for it to be a secret. Right. I'm a great secret keeper. Well, A, no, you're not. And B, I've already forgotten it. It's so boring and it has nothing to do with me, so why would I care? Hey, ladies. We're the co-CEOs of Jamba Jeans. Murray Miller's the genius who decided that their denim company was called Jamba Jeans. <laughs> It's almost like they were just like, we love Jamba Juice and we love jeans. <laughs> I really loved Weeman and it was so fun to think about like what would Shoshana's idea of like utopia be? Right. Shoshana's starting to find and define her own boundaries. And her irritation with all of them is mounting. Can't I just go do one line of coke without you two running off? In this episode, the immaturity of Jess's behavior and the way that Jess has actually compromised her life really dawns on her and it's super painful. Shoshana throwing food at Jess as an improvisation. Get out of my face! And afterwards, Jemima was like, you threw a pig in a blanket in my face. And Sasha was like, were you mad? And Jemima was like, no, it was cool. <laughs> when Lena wrote it, she wanted the set in upstate New York to look like the movie Straw Dogs. I was very excited to see what Lena's version of Straw Dogs would be. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so you can cool that down. Tim Ives, the DP, and I made a really like intense aesthetic choice to shoot something in an almost genre-y way. Okay. We really were shooting at 4 a.m. in upstate New York, and Eben <laughs> was actually kind of terrified. Yeah. This is when we discover that Desi is a habitual drug user. You've been taking it for a year. Oh, yeah. You were fucking high at our wedding. Oh, fuck yeah. Desi has been a real be careful what you wish for kind of story for Marnie. She wanted someone creative and intoxicating, and often those people are horrendous narcissists. Oh, stop it. Not that in public. Stop it. Marnie's so controlling that, like, I think she has this sense that she can fix people. She's embarrassed that her marriage broke up. I think yeah. that there is this fantasy that maybe we can make it work. She kind of always sees the bright side of things and thinks, today is the first day of the rest of my life. Seriously, Marnie, it can be pretty hard to have observations about other people when you're only thinking about yourself. I would know. Hannah's always kind of known that she's self-involved and isn't that upset about it. Two seasons ago, she would have gone storming out of the house and like tried to hitch a ride. And I'm not judging you, okay? I promise. <laughs> I think if there's something that she learns, it's like she actually shows Marnie some real empathy. The things they've been through have made them more empathic towards each other. We don't know what she's doing. Nope. <laughs> They're really for each other this season and in sort of a loving, non-judgmental way. 